everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today is a special treat as there's a huge surprise in store for everyone who's watching 8 Minutes with Aaron. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Everyone is so excited about San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, and especially Funko Fun Days that happens at the end of July. Which, hey, I'll be honest with you too, I'm a little bit excited now as well. So last night, after a week of giving hints of when these tickets are going to be dropped, they said yesterday at around 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, they were going to drop a little bit of hint where you can get these tickets. Now, there were a lot of people who liked that it was going to be at night, and there were a few people that were upset that it wasn't happening in the morning time. But overall, I think everyone was pleasantly surprised of what happened. <laughs> Not just kidding. Thousands of people, I'm telling you, hundreds of thousands of people tried to get these San Diego uh, tickets to the Funko Fun Days. See, I was about to say San Diego Comic Con, and I caught myself. So Funko Fun Days is a pretty exclusive event. Get this, there are only 1,800 people allowed per day, one Friday and one Saturday. Now, I'm not all up to date on what has been going on the last couple of years, but I believe there was only one day on a Friday, and this year, now that it's two days, they are going to go uber nuts. Now, I don't know if they're going to go uber nuts, but I'm sure there are going to be tons of giveaways. You get one ticket, you can buy two at a time, you give one to your friend, you know, you go with someone else, who knows, you could sell them for all I care. But you know what the best part is? I was in the line. And guess what? I wasn't in the hundreds of the thousands. I wasn't even in the thousands. I was in the hundreds. That's right. I got lucky and I was in the hundreds and I got through and I got a ticket for Friday. Well, I should say two tickets, in fact. And I am so excited for this. I am part of an 1800 group that goes to this Funko event. And of course I got to go. Now I know my work schedule is already set up, but I've already made the calls to everyone I'm working with to try to make sure that they can cover my days so I can go to San Diego, California. But the biggest problem is not just the flight costs and things of that nature, is where I'm going to stay. Now, I didn't realize that, you know, if you're going to go to San Diego, these are going to be up in price for every hotel. I'm looking at prices from ranging from, I'm going to say the shittiest 400 to the highest in the like 2000 range. And I'm only going down there for two days. Going down to Friday, sleep, Saturday, sleep, and Sunday, I'm waking up buku early to get my flight and get back to Philadelphia because I got work on Monday. But I cannot miss out this event. And, you know, I, I talked to some people in the Discord channels, and there's a dude who actually hit me up and said, Listen, man, if you're going by yourself on Friday, I got one ticket extra for Saturday. So now, guess what, folks? I am going both nights to this Funko Fun Day thing. And it's it's crazy. But now i got to find a place to stay. So, 8 Minutes with Aaron is asking all you folks about your 10, 15 people who do watch my videos or watch them through. If you've got a place in San Diego, <laughs> California, and you want to put this guy up for a couple of days, please, please let me do it. I'll throw you a couple bucks, you know, I, I don't mind, but I really don't want to go into the, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollar region. Uh, there are a couple places like on Airbnb, I checked that. I did get a room through Verbo, but the guy hit me up this morning and told me that he was double booked. So I had to cancel. I had everything planned out. Everything was great until this morning when this guy hit me up and said, hey, I'm sorry, I'm double booked. So you and your parakeet, I don't know, can eat shit. Yeah, that's right. You can eat shit. So now I need to look for a new place. And I've looked all day at hotels. And like I said, checked out Airbnb. I checked out Expedia. I checked out Hotels.com. You would not believe the shitty ass reviews that some of these hotels are getting in San Diego too. Like Motel 6's, the 8 Wyndham, the Holiday Inn even getting a bad review, a 5 and lower? Where's that Continental Breakfast? I would have loved the Continental Breakfast. But the Funko Fun Days is what I'm more excited about. They're going to give out a box of Funko Pops and shit like that. They're going to have some food, which I heard last year was awful. But this year... This year, 
I think it's the first time they're having it at the Hyatt Hotel. So if the Hyatt Hotel is pretty fancy schmancy. I tried to get a room there and unfortunately they were booked or they're not having anybody come in during that time. I'm sure there are a bunch of people who already reserved this, you know, a year in advance, knowing that they were going to get some kind of fun day tickets. I'm excited to see if they're going to release anything new. Sometimes they, you know, give out shit like that, like prototypes and exclusive gear. So I'm going to walk away a pretty happy guy. Now, you know me, I can tell you all the time, oh, yeah, no, if I get this stuff, I'm going to sell. I'm sure none of this stuff is going to sell this stuff. However, if I am there and people do approach me, I guess I do have an opportunity to make back my money for the tickets and the flight. So that is what I'm going to plan on doing. But Funko Fun Days, this is going to happen at the end of July. I think it's the 26th and 27th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Sunday I'd be flying home on the 28th, and now I work the weekend, of course. Ugh, man. I got to stop working weekends so I don't have to worry about switching up my schedule like this. I'm sure my scheduler is not going to be too pleased with this. But I figured I should share this exciting news with everyone who watches this channel. So I will be going down to San Diego at the end of July. And when I come back, and then I got a plan for, you know, Philadelphia Folk Fest. Ah, oh, man, I'm taking tons of vacation time. That's all right. I'm going to have a good time. I'm sure I'm going to check out the beach down in San Diego if it's nearby. I'll check out a couple places because the event doesn't start until like six. I think like six to nine. It's only a three hour thing. So now I got to figure out what I'm going to do afterwards. I don't want to just go back and go to sleep. And I, I tried to ask the dude who I'm going to you know, go the two different days with whether or not I could hang with him and his boys. He didn't seem too fond of that. Things seem to find. He kept saying, you know, we've already planned this trip. I'm not trying to hang out with this guy outside of the Funko thing. I just don't want to go to this thing by myself and sit at a table like a lonely guy and say, I took myself all the way from Philadelphia just to sit at this table by myself. But I'm sure I'll talk with other Funko fans and Funko fanatics everywhere. And though I was pretty pissed at the Funko fanatic forums, they got tickets beforehand, which I think is pretty shitty by Funko which they are doing so much crappy things to people who do collect Funko, such as myself. I don't even know why I'm going to this event. Of course I know why I'm going to this event. It's going to be awesome. And you know what? If this is my only time going, great. At least I got to experience it once. I went to Electric Forest for a couple of years, experienced that. I'm probably going to go to, e well, I'm definitely going to EDC in Vegas next year. I'm experiencing a ton of stuff. I'm going everywhere, folks. And you know what time it is. It is time to give this experience, or this... Oh yeah, the queue. I should have told you about the queue. Yeah, I did. I told you about the queue. There were hundreds of thousands of people in, and blah, 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 and they were all disappointed and shit like that. Boo, hoo, hoo. I would have probably been crying if I didn't get in either. And I chilled on that page for a while, trying to decide whether or not I want to go Friday or Saturday, even if I wanted to go at all. So, uh, let's give it an up, all right, down. All right, uh, fun days, 2024. Pfft. You're definitely getting an up. That's right, you are getting up. But that guy on Verbo who screwed my reservation for uh, my stay down there, you're definitely getting it down. Maybe I'll put your information up or maybe I'll write a bad review about you anyway. <laughs> my name is Aaron. Thank you for joining with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we go over more stuff, more things, and hey, a lot more of me. See you later, folks. Bye.